everybody we're gonna jump right into this so this video's color scheme was analogous which are colors that are pretty much right next to each other on the color wheel so for this one it was blue green blue green green yellow all that like they were all very much in the blue and green range of things on the color wheel they're kind of the same family basically uh, analogous was kind of hard for me. It was one of the few color schemes that I didn't have an idea of right away and I really had to think about it. Like I actually went and had to scroll through the characters I had in order to get an idea. So this one ended up being again another dragon because I love dragons so much. I know that from my YouTube you can't tell that you would mostly think I'm a Mega Man fan, which I am. but. I love, 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 love dragons. They are like one of my favorite mythical creatures ever. I would love to do a story with dragons. So this one is based off of my, one of my water dragons. So it's kind of like a water unicorn type thing. It's actually based off of a really old design I found because again, I like dragons. So I've designed a ton of dragons over my lifespan. And this uh, dragon ended up being a design I found that I made when I was younger and I didn't know how to draw animals for the life of me and I redesigned it into this and I really I really love it it's not my favorite but it's definitely fun to doodle so when I went into this I knew for a fact that I wanted to try to make the fins transparent looking because it's it's a fish and most of the fish fins make me think of transparency the problem was that when i went to do and make it transparent this is cover paper when i'm doing the dragon on so i'm doing it on cover paper cover paper is not exactly made for watercolor or anything like that but when you go to do transparent with acrylic colors you gotta really water it down like really lots of water lots of lots of water to make it really transparent the paper couldn't hold it so when I start you'll see when I start cutting the fins the back fins I ended up ripping the fin off of the poor dragon and I was like no why but other than that I really liked how the transparency um, came out as you can see you can, the body is clearly underneath the fins and the fin is very very transparent like a fish fin which is what I was going for. When I first thought of this picture, I was just going to have only one dragon swimming, but when I added it to the picture, I realized how much negative space there was. Like, it was just too much. So I, outside of recording, went ahead and made a second dragon to put on here. This time, keeping in mind that cover paper does not want to, like, have lots of water on it and will rip and tear if I am not careful. I did make a second one after the fact, and it, it, it made the piece feel a whole lot com more complete. It felt more complete. When I went to do the background, of course I wanted to make sure it felt like a watery feel, so I made sure to do more of a watercolor, tie-dye feeling, you know, just spread a lot of greens and blues and make it more watery. The watercolor paper did puff up a bit, but the end result was awesome, and I even had somebody in my class during the critique, because this was a class project, they really enjoyed the tie-dyed look of, in the background, which was perfect. I still feel like this piece is missing something, but I'm not quite sure. But it's it's pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.